fried chicken, salad, lemonade, and our very own private shady spot. Thanks, Cody. No problem, sis. I don't get it. If Danny likes Taylor, why does she make him eat her potato salad? I think that's her meatloaf. What was that? Oh, sorry, Taylor. Picnic's over. Robot copter mode! I'll call the team. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Not so close! Do you see what that thing does to metal? Dad, it's headed toward the docks! Boulder, follow me. We'll cut it off. That device is irreplaceable. Uncle Woodrow? <sighs> Woodrow. Uncle Woodrow! Why didn't you tell us you were coming? I can't believe it's you. Uncle? Human term for sibling of a parent. In this case... Chief's brother! Chief didn't tell us he was coming to visit. Or that he existed. Wonderful. Now, I'll answer your questions. Just let me look at you a second. Cody, you've grown a foot. Now you'll need three socks. <laughs> Did you kids get my postcards from Dwarma? Or the scorpions I sent from Ecuador? Um, never got those. Oh, I thought I sent them. I may have forgotten. Gee, imagine that. Woodrow, this uh, floating menace belongs to you? Good to see you too, big brother. Come here, give me a decent hello. <gasps> uh, oh, okay, Woody, uh, okay. Oh, high-grade titanium, laser drill, self-propulsion, and sonar tracking? That's quite a device, Uncle Woodrow. <laughs> yeah, it's my deep earth stout, designed to drill underground and collect data. And you won't believe what it found. This is it, Charlie, what I've been looking for my whole life evidence that aliens may have visited the Earth centuries ago. Well, don't everybody get all excited at once. We're happy for you, Uncle Woodrow. It's, it's only that... I just wish your homecoming had been a little less destructive. Hmm, sorry, Charlie. The DES must have accidentally activated when I was getting off the ferry. <sighs> Speaking of machines, ho oh, oh, ho! Looks like you still have the best toys. Where on earth did you get these guys, Charlie? Uh, they're rescue robots. Uh, State-of-the-art emergency stuff. Watch what they can do, Uncle Woodrow. Robots, vehicle mode. Whoa, -ho -ho. impressive. Hey, what's the mileage like? <laughs> now, Woodrow, you- Hey, what's for dinner? Oh. Go easy, Woodrow. This is not Dad's old jalopy. Well, that's Uncle Woodrow. Uncle Woodrow is an archaeologist, sort of. And an inventor, sometimes. He's been around the world a lot, I think. He doesn't seem anything like the Chief. 
Yeah, look at me and Graham. Would you ever think a guy like me could have a brother like him? Come here, you! Uh, Cade! <laughs> I'm sure he meant it in a nice way. All my research has convinced me. Pictographs, pyramids, Stonehenge. They're alien artifacts, every one of them. But uh, you kids probably don't believe in aliens, do you? I'm willing to consider the evidence. Nope. I, I no wouldn't way. say that we don't. Sit down and eat, Charlie. Dinner doesn't serve itself. Somebody has to cook and clean up. Well, that's good old Charlie, uh, nose to the grindstone. Say, pass the potatoes, will you? Then I'll show you what my DES found. I don't get it. Why is Chief's brother so eager to find an alien anyway? I know! With all the amazing things humans have on their own planet, why bother searching for... us? Because we're awesome? But who sends scorpions as gifts? No thank you. Who knows? Maybe he brought some scorpions along with him. Ah! Very funny. All I know is Woodrow Burns forced me to drive over the speed limit and I was helpless to stop him. Now, most people look for aliens in outer space. But my research made me realize we should be looking in inner space, underneath the Earth. So, I built and dispatched six DES spheres to gather data from all across the planet. Five of the devices are still out there somewhere gathering data. But this baby uncovered all the evidence I need right in my old hometown. Well, under it. A cavern containing proof of a lost alien civilization. Housing structures. Looks like rock formations to me. Communication signals. Or water dripping. Even aliens themselves. Shadows on the wall. That's the difference between us, Charlie. I'm curious to know for sure. So, I'm gonna borrow the town's old forger. You remember, we found it when we were kids, down where the tunnels end. That giant driller? It hasn't been used in years. I think I can get it running. Then I follow the coordinates the DES brought back, and I'll finally have my proof. That is awesome! Hey, you can come with me, Cody. Alia, a once-in-a-lifetime journey to the center of the Earth. Oh, wow. Sign me up. Sounds great. Woodrow, my family can't just drop everything and go off on some spur-of-the-moment expedition. Especially... Especially with me, right? Give us a minute, will you, kids? You've always been the dreamer of the family. I get that. But you never see one dream through before you're off chasing another. Charlie, that's not... Like when we were kids. I'd have to put out the fires you started with your bottle rockets, and you'd already be off building a flying bicycle. Well, not all of my expeditions have gone well, I'll give you that. But this time, with you and the kids along to keep me focused... We're not going, Woodrow. And you can't borrow the tunnel forger. That's the end of it. Sorry, kids. The human-sibling relationship appears to be a complex one. Don't bots have brothers or sisters? Nope. We're all on our own. Lucky. But it must get kind of lonely. There. I wasn't sure at first, but... You were right to contact me, Heatwave. So that blue crystal is... Energon. A new supply that could benefit all Autobots for years to come. Heatwave, prepare your team. I will be arriving in the morning. And then, we go underground. Dad, where's Uncle Woodrow? Must have gone out early. Who knows where? I might have an idea. Looks like you were right, Cody. Wait here, okay, Boulder? Uncle Woodrow! 
Uncle Woodrow, what are you doing? Well, I recharged the power cells. Now I just have to enter the coordinates for the cavern, and the forger can start digging. But my dad... Your dad thinks my expeditions are harebrained. That I don't think things through. No offense, Uncle Woodrow, but I'm not sure that stealing the forger is the best way to prove him wrong. <laughs> You're probably right, Cody. But you have big brothers. You know how a nod from them is the nicest feeling in the world. I just want to show your dad that I'm capable of doing something he can be proud of. What's happening? The cells must have surged. We're on autopilot. Seventy miles per hour at a forty degree angle. No way I'll catch them. Graham, come in, Graham. Nice rig. The transport is for carrying Energon to the surface. Once the rescue bots and I harvest it from underground. We'd like to help you if we can. I do not wish to endanger your family, Chief. Great. Yet another trip to the center of the Earth we won't be making. But we will require the coordinates your brother found. Yeah, a bit of a problem. Woodrow's kind of uh, disappeared. Heatwave! Chief! Optimus, thank goodness. Chief, Cody and your brother. The Forger took off tunneling with them inside. Then let's roll to the... We'd never reach it, Heatwave. It has too much of a head start. It appears our mining expedition is now a rescue mission for the entire team. Rescue bots, vehicle mode, then on to my transport. No offense, Optimus, but how can you pulling us on a trailer be any faster than going ourselves? Let's just say there is more to this transport than meets the eye. We're nearing the coordinates. Should be leveling off. Oh, the controls aren't working. My brothers are always telling me not to press strange buttons, but I think that might be... The kill button. Go for it! <laughs> Get out, Uncle Woodrow, before we're buried! place your DES photographed. Yep, we're smack dab where we're supposed to be. But no way back. My dad will launch a rescue mission. He probably already has. Cody, no one even knows we're down here. Who's gonna tell them? Your bulldozer? Chief Burns, I suggest you and your family hold on to something. What? Ah! 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 Is he crazy? He's Optimus Prime. Relax. 
Statistically speaking, that maneuver should not have worked. Uncle Woodrow, over here! Huh. Must be the tunnel the DES dug on its exploratory mission. So it should lead to the surface, right? Well, even if we could reach it, it's too small to fit through. Wait. I've seen that before. The alien housing structure. Oh, your dad was right. It's just a rock formation. <laughs> and there's my alien communication signal. Uncle Woodrow, that doesn't mean we won't find other proof. You never know. There just might be aliens after all. <laughs> yeah. They found us! I told you they would! I'm not so sure. Much worse. That new robot, impressive. on earth were you thinking? Didn't I tell you- It wasn't his fault, Dad. The forger just took off and- No, Cody. Your dad's right. It's my fault for sneaking off on this goose chase. I put you in danger, and I'm sorry for that. Well, thank you, Woodrow. Apology accepted. The worst part is, the entire trip was pointless. No lost civilization, no signs of alien life. You're right, Charlie. I've wasted my whole life just chasing shadows. As soon as we get to the surface, I'll head home and get out of your family's hair. Why is he talking about hair? A metaphor? I'll explain later. But Uncle Woodrow, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. But I have to face it. Atlantis, Shangri-La, no such things. And aliens have never visited because they don't exist. What? He is family, Dad. You can't let him go on thinking he's failed. I mean, if it were Cade, I'd try to cheer him up. Maybe. Tell him, Dad. Tell me what? Woodrow, little brother, I don't know about Shangri-La or Atlantis, but I can tell you as a point of fact, aliens do exist. <sighs> you don't have to do this, Charlie. It doesn't make me feel any better. Well, maybe this will. Team, introduce yourselves. Heatwave, pleased to meet you. My name is Chase, and I am proud to be your brother's policing partner. Boulder. Blades. And now that I can speak freely, can I just say how terrifying those spiders were? Not gonna fall for it. I am Optimus Prime, and Chief Burns is correct. To the people of Earth, we are aliens. 
Our home planet of Cybertron is most likely unknown to you. We'd tell you what galaxy it's in, but you haven't heard of that either. I was right. I was right! I just... I just... My DES worked! Charlie! It found aliens! I just never figured you'd be the one hiding them. So... You guys! Cyber Knights! Cybertronians. Right. You've been leaving artifacts on Earth for what, like centuries? That is a long story for another day. Oh, I knew it! Well, thanks, Charlie, for trusting me with your secret. Like Graham said, we're all family. And that's what family does. They also do this. Hey! <laughs> Stop it, Charlie! <laughs> this gesture appears to be universal in sibling relations. Let's get to work, team. We have some energon to harvest. Watch it! Get this. Remember how my Uncle Woodrow wanted to search for aliens at the center of the Earth? Well, things didn't exactly go as planned. We got trapped underground. And when my family, the bots, and even Optimus Prime came to rescue us, the cavern collapsed and everyone got separated. <laughs> now Dad, Uncle Woodrow, Chase, and I are stuck down here and separated from the others. If you get this message, Doc, Please send help, fast. Oh, come on, I set your GPS coordinates for Doc Green's lab, now get going! Sorry, son. It was a good idea, but satellite tech won't work this deep underground. Comlinks either. Well, we'll just have to find the rest of the family using only our wits and courage. It's an adventure. It's irresponsible, which is why I was against this subterranean joyride to begin with. You know, Charlie, you'll never learn anything if you don't leave the island once in a while. I don't need to get burned to know that fire is hot. Speaking of which, sir, I seem to have... But apparently I need to tunnel underground to discover my brother is living with aliens. Ahem. Chief, I am sorry to say... Discover? I told you! Yeah, it took you long enough. Dad, look! Moldy guacamole. Actually, I believe it is lava. And it's blocking our only way out. A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's made a poke in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Learn from the human, serve and protect. Live in their world, earn their respect. We must have tapped into one of Mount Magma's tunnels. Chase, vehicle mode. Woody, Cody, inside. Are you aliens lava proof? Unfortunately, no. However, all rescue bots are trained for emergency evacuation procedure. He means tighten your seatbelt. The 
cat's pajamas. I was unaware that Mr. Pettipaws had sleeping attire. It's an expression, Chase. Uncle Woodrow is impressed. Let's save the congratulations until we're out of danger and we've located the others. Oh, Charlie. Can't you ever just enjoy the moment? Not when I'm trying to keep my family safe. Chase, can you jump it? Negative. And this may be an opportune time to mention that motion sickness bags may be found in my center console. Power up and energize. Sorry, Uncle Woodrow. Riding in bots takes some getting used to. Was that maneuver worthy of feline night clothing? Absolutely, Chase. I just hope we haven't strayed too far away from the rest of the team. How far down do you think that goes? I have no desire to find out. Heatwave, I have been impressed with your accomplishments on Griffin Rock. Thank you, sir. My team has learned a lot working with our human partners. Are you still interested in joining my ranks on the mainland? We would be honored. I need to ask the other bots first, but... I am only inviting you. <laughs> with all due respect, sir, you asked me to lead my team. If I leave them behind, I'm not only failing them, but you as well. That is what I hoped you would say. Leadership requires placing others' needs in front of your own ambitions. I am pleased you have learned that, Heatwave. Uh, thanks, I think. It appears you have set some form of machinery in motion. A volcano. Oh, the shaft must be part of Mount Magma. The humans made it. Don't ask me why. Likely the same logic that went into the pogo stick. Look. Daylight. This lever must have opened the top of the volcano. We can climb out of it. Now all that remains is finding the rest of your team and returning with them to this spot. Which passage should we attempt first? Cody taught me how humans decide. Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo! Try over here, Boulder. Nope. This wall is solid rock, too. I could have told you that by looking at it. Ah. Face it, Graham, we're stuck in here. Well, if we have to be stuck, at least it's in this place with magical glowing walls. Uh, Blades, that's fungus. Ew! Get it off! Get it off! You know, Dad's probably searching for the rest of the team by now. He'll find us. An optimist will get us out. What makes you think they aren't all trapped, too? <clears throat> there. My sonic imaging detects a hollow chamber on the other side of this surface. Good job, Boulder. Yes, yeah, super helpful. Except for the solid rock wall in the way. We're engineers. We make doors. Ready, Boulder? You might want to cover your ears. Fire in the shovel! <laughs> Tickles. <gasps> Whoa. Incredible. Hmm, high saline content. This is seawater. But how can it be part of the ocean? We're underground. Seismic activity changes the landscape over time. This water must have gotten trapped down here millions of years ago. That's not the only thing that was trapped. <gasps> A pterodactyl! Amazing! <laughs> um, Fascinating. Huh? Great. So I guess Boulder sonar doesn't detect dinosaurs. Technically, that's a flying lizard. Technically, we're lunch. It hasn't seen us yet. Blades, let's do some recon. I think I see another tunnel across the water. Um, 
Do you want me to get in the air when there's a terror doctor up there? Pterodactyl, and we'll fly low. Almost there, Blades. I have to admit, it does feel nice to stretch my rotors. Bro! Blades! Get higher, now! Blades! Seaside vacation spot of Aberview. Negative five stars. We need to find a safer cavern. No, whoa, wait. How do you know there are not even bigger dinosaurs looking for a fight on the other side of that wall? Just, just turn off your sonic doohickey, unless you can use it to find Dad. Maybe we can. If I adjust my sound waves to compensate for the rock's frangibility... And we use the natural cavern acoustics to boost amplitude... Is that what it sounds like to everyone else when we talk? Yeah, with more pop culture references. So, you aliens don't sleep. Now, do you eat? Uh, uh, not as humans do. Well, that answers my next question. Hold up! I don't want us getting any more lost than we already are. Chase? You stay with Cody and Woodrow. I'll take a rope and scout ahead. I don't know. It'll go faster if we search two passages at once. No. I don't need you running off and playing Explorer. <sighs> Is this about the time you got lost in the forest? I was rescuing you. Who said I wanted to be rescued? You did. You called me on the walkie-talkie. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. You crazy. I remember. I am confused. I thought Chief had reconciled his differences with his brother. It's like me and Cade. We don't always agree, but blood is thicker than water. I was unaware that fluid viscosity was involved. It just means that deep down, brothers would do anything for each other. Perhaps you should remind them of that fact. And don't get me started about the time you stole my stopwatch. Borrowed! Hey, Burns family! You can argue once we're all safe above ground, but now we need to work together to get there. You're right, son. Sorry we got so sidetracked. Pinky truce? <laughs> Pinky truce. I am happy to hear that your blood is thick, sir. Whoa! Is that an earthquake? It almost sounds like drumming. Morse code. Hurry, it's coming from over here. Transport. Help me pull it free. What in the all spark? <laughs> energon. A deposit of energon this rich is invaluable. I only wish we had found it under more positive circumstances. That sounds like Boulder. Dad! We're coming down! Woodrow, be careful. That rock doesn't look very strong. <laughs> it's fine, Charlie. Don't be such a worrywart. If due caution defines a wart, I am proud to be one. Yeah, you know what they say about curiosity and the cat. Did it involve pajamas? 
We agreed to stick together from now on, remember? I know, I'm sorry. B but there's nothing to be afraid of. Extinction is no excuse for ignoring the law. Chief, take shelter. The pterodactyl has him pinned down. We have to distract it. Blades, what are you doing? You're hurt. You can't fly high enough to save them. I know, but I can fly high enough to get someone who will. Hey! Big Bird! Ah! Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Oh, what the hell were you guys? Nice. Dinosaurs. Oh, I'm so glad you're okay. Next time, can we go to Hawaii for our family trip? Blades, that was noble. How'd you know the fish could get the pterodactyl to leave us alone? I was inspired by Uncle Woodrow. Yeah. Ever since he arrived, Chief's been so busy fighting with him. They ignore everything else. Oh, not exactly a compliment. No, but a fair observation. Now what, a triceratops? Heat wave, you're okay. I mean, uh, hey. We received your signal. Is everyone safe? For the time being. The sooner we can get home, the better. Then follow us, Chief. We found the way out. And a lot more. Wow. Ooh, wow. Shiny. Oh, goodness. Amazing. Oh, no. Sufficiently impressive. Incredible. So, this is all pure Generon? Energon. It is the fuel and lifeblood that flows within us. Isn't it a little solid for that? This is unrefined energon. And in this state, it is highly combustible. Maybe we'd better keep moving. Yeah, where's this way out you promised us? Hope you like volcanoes. Even inside the bots, climbing this shaft could take days. Days? What are we supposed to do about food? Cave dwellers often live on blind grubs. They're quite nutritious. Get stuck in your teeth, though. Ooh, lovely. We need fresh water, too. Danny, what about blades? Well, he can't get much height with a damaged rotor. So, so we're, we're stuck down here? Sir, we will not allow any harm to come to your family. There has to be another way to the surface. Maybe Graham and I can create some sort of catapult device. It's too bad we can't just blast out of the volcano like lava. Blast! Yes! A giant bottle rocket! <laughs> like we made when we were kids, remember, Charlie? We ignite the energon, then boom! We ride a platform up like a rocket-powered elevator. Will that actually work? Theoretically. Optimus, I hate to have to ask you to waste so much energon. Chief Burns. Energon is replaceable. Human lives are not. First, we'll need to build a platform across this shaft, then plant a fuse and seal the other passages. All right, let's move it, team! Sometimes Uncle Woodrow's pretty amazing, huh, Dad?
all the time. But uh, don't tell him I said that. Ready, Woodrow? Just like old times, Charlie. On my signal. One, two, three. Someone got that on camera. Woodrow? Oh. The old creaky floorboard. <laughs> Gets me every time. Where are you running off to? I thought you were planning to stay the week. Go fishing, catch up. I was, Charlie. But all we saw, aliens, prehistoric creatures, energon. It made me realize there's so much out there to explore. I can't waste any more time here. Like I am? I didn't say that. You're an incredible father and a great police chief. If I could be those things, <laughs> I would. But I'm an adventurer, and you're... An adventurer's brother. <laughs> you be careful, Woodrow. And the next time you're in Maine, we'll have dinner waiting for you. Uncle Woodrow? Why didn't he say goodbye, Dad? That's Woodrow's way, Cody. But he's never really gone. We just keep him in a different spot. I am pleased with your progress, Sigma-17. Continue your mission. Heat wave. Heat wave. You have grown into a strong leader. I believe you are ready for greater responsibilities. Sir? Be prepared when the time comes. Another warm day in the dead of winter. Mm. Really thins my fluids. Hello, bird of the air. Getting some sun too, I see. Ah! Someone's unleashed a weather machine! Snow! After a week of clear skies. Cody, see if Doc Green's been tinkering again. And I'll alert the chief in case Dr. Morocco has returned no, with- No, no, wait! <laughs> That's not from a weather machine. Mr. Hooten's just decorating for the holiday. This isn't Christmas. But next week is midwinter morning. How many holidays do you humans have? This one's special. It's just for Griffin Rock. It all started back when- Rescue bots. A stack of logs just rolled onto a car. Someone's trapped inside. Stop! We have 
to remove the logs in the right order, or they could shift too much weight onto the car. <gasps> Hurry! A routine patrol with four bats and stasis. He's a remote in the strangest of places. Earth was their home now, and in addition, Optimus Prime gave them this mission. Just remain calm, Mrs. Niederlander. And uh, you too, Mr. Pettipaws. Danny, any way to speed this up? Not safely. Oh, I'm about to toss my waffles as it is. Toss your... Oh, your breakfast. <sighs> Want to tell me why there's a stack of logs downtown? Bonfire for midwinter morning. I don't know why we bother. Hardly anyone shows up for it anymore. Doesn't a bonfire leave a big mess? Yep. Guess who cleans that up? <laughs> you are safe now. Can I drive you, reckless robots? You tore the door off. No, hold on Man, we there. Took great care. A little thank you. Please. Please don't be upset. Uh, let me handle this. Mrs. Niederlander, now, our objective was to free you from the vehicle. Sometimes when we do that... This wouldn't have happened if that log pile wasn't such a hazard. Why even have a bonfire if nobody comes? We come. All right. How about if I give you and Mr. Pettipaws a lift home? Fine. Take me to my cabin. The one on the mountain? That's where I stay every year during this holiday charade. Well, after you. The last time I transported Mr. Pettipaws, he left me an odorous little parting gift. I remember. Had to drive with your windows down for a week. Young man, use that noisy tractor of yours to tow my car. I'm noisy? Uh, yes, ma'am. You're welcome! Maybe that old grump should call someone else next time. And she can get her own cat out of the tree, too. A shame she has to be so ungrateful. Wonder why she doesn't like this holiday. Yeah, what could she have against getting presents? By the way, what'd you guys get me? Like I tell you. And like I'd remember, I clicked, I bought, it'll be here on the ferry. Were we supposed to buy presents? That's the way it works. I need a few things, so I'll give you a list. Presents cost money, right? Where do we get money? <sighs> Someone want to explain what this midwinter fuss is all about? Twas a winter storm like no other. The great nor'easter of 1713. Snow and ice had buried Griffin Rock, trapping the island's residents in their homes. Supply ships couldn't make the voyage, and when food ran out, people had no way of getting more. And then, one snowy night, a mysterious visitor slipped unnoticed into every home and left bread in the empty pantries. No one ever discovered who this benefactor was. So thereafter, he became known as the Rider of Midwinter. Clearly, this rider kept his identity a secret for a fear of being arrested as a trespasser. So people give presents now as a way of honoring the mysterious rider who saved the town? Right. And the cool part is, everyone still finds bread on their doorstep every midwinter morning. A 300-year-old rider? I'm sorry, but I would not eat that bread. <laughs> no, Blades. 
It's someone else carrying on the tradition, but nobody knows who. So what's a bonfire have to do with any of this? After the blizzard, everyone gathered in town and lit a fire to keep warm. It just grew from that. Ugh. Hate to break it to you, Chase, but that air freshener? So not cutting it. Curse you, Mr. Pettipaws. Everyone, Everyone to the garage, the garage please. please. Winter storm. As if this holiday doesn't keep us busy enough. Well, at least the town won't need to decorate with fake snow. Isn't this just wonderful? Snow on the road seriously complicates the rescues. Oh, I think it's beautiful. Me too. I hope it snows all week. It's been snowing all week. Conditions are so bad that nobody has even been out gift shopping. And for those of us who ordered online, the ferry carrying our packages has not arrived. Which means neither has the gourmet hot chocolate maker I bought for myself. I want my cocoa. vehicle sure can be frustrating. I too feel revved up with nowhere to go. Don't worry, Blades and Heatwave will get it done. was lost. Ah, understood. Hopefully the rest of the town takes the news better than that. This is catastrophic! No presents on midwinter morning? Oh, the humanity! My gifts are on that ferry! Somebody bought gifts locally. Sorry, Danny. We ordered them online like most people. Maybe we could still go buy some gifts downtown. Except that stores have been closed since the snow started. No one should be out in this weather anyway. It is nearly impossible to drive responsibly in these conditions. Try flying. I have no feeling in my tail rotor. Uh, face it. This holiday's an even bigger bust than usual. Are you upset because your gifts were lost at sea, Cody? A little. I ordered some pretty neat presents for my family, and for you guys, too. But mostly, I'm sad we won't be getting the bread tomorrow. Whoever the rider of Midwinter is, he won't be able to make deliveries in this snow. Why not just consume the bread from your own kitchen? It's not really about the bread. But you just said... It's about the tradition. Being with family, finding bread on your doorstep, it all just gives you a warm feeling inside. Right. Because the bread is hot. Um, no. He means, like, internal combustion. Maybe I'm not being clear. I get it. The bread reminds everyone why they celebrate in the first place. 
surviving the storm, and being grateful for it. Exactly. Except nobody in town probably even cares anymore. They just want presents. Griffin Rock Emergency. Uh, Mrs. Niederlander. You need us all up at your cabin. Oh, Lander! What exactly is the emergency? Hello? Mrs. Niederlander? Hello? I lost the connection. Ah, we better get up there. You can't be serious. Hello, she's on the mountain. Can we wait until spring? I just hope Mr. Pettipaws does well, not need a ride. give her another reason to complain about us. she just showed a little appreciation. But what if she really does need us? Cody's right. This is the job we all signed on for. <sighs> Agreed. How do we get up there? The mountain roads are iced over. And the upslope winds are too severe for flying. Boulder might be able to make it. She said she needed all of us. I have an idea. Good thinking, Cody. The MHQ is heavy enough, I shouldn't be a problem. Dad, phones are still out. I hope Mrs. Niederlander is all right. Just don't be disappointed with her when this turns out to be nothing. I don't think she'd bring us all up there unless it was important. One would hope. Avalanche, hang on! Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. okay. Affirmative. Uh, yeah. Yes. Relative to what? Though I do suggest we proceed on foot from here. Agreed. <laughs> Mrs. Niederlander, what? Get in here before you let all the heat out. She looks fine to me. Hmm. No cats and trees either. Let's try to listen in. <laughs> I am rather conflicted about eavesdropping. Think of it as covert surveillance. That works. Now, if you could tell us what the emergency is, Mrs. I need someone to deliver my midwinter morning packages. I. We all just. You. Hmm. You brought us all the way up here during the worst nor'easter in 300 years? So we can run your errands? It's the least you can do after your robots wreck my car. <gasps> okay, let me tell you something. <clears throat> Mrs. Niederlander, what makes the delivery of these packages an emergency? They're important to the whole community. I hardly think... Dad, she's right. They are important. Mrs. Niederlander is the rider of Midwinter. <gasps> How old are you? I'm not the original, you knucklehead. Before me, it was old man Delgado. Before him, Mrs. Crabtree. But why do you do it? This holiday began because of one selfless act of kindness. Every year it gets a little harder for people to remember that. I do it so they won't forget. That's a very good reason. And for the last 49 years, I've never missed a midwinter morning. And you're not gonna miss this one either. Not if we can help it. Well, we'll have to move fast. It'll be morning in a few hours. We need some big bags. Have any sheets we can use? Plenty. Now enough chit chat. Let's move it, people. Wow, who knew cranky Mrs. Niederlander had a heart of gold? Not me. <laughs> I must be coming down with something. Me too. <laughs> Even though we don't get sick. Okay, robots. Looks like we have deliveries to make.
Riders of Midwinter, roll to the rescue! Aha! If you could open your heart and see what's inside, you'd find a magical place with all kinds of treasure you don't want to hide. It knows what a gesture can bring, like the warmth of a fire. And you'll know what it all means. It just gets brighter and brighter, the light in their eyes light the fire. You know the reason is not just the season, there's something much more like the fire. Looks like we barely made it. It also looks like Mrs. Niederlander miscounted. There's one left. She counted right. That one's ours. Wow. I guess I wasn't expecting anything. That makes it kind of nice. I imagine that's just how everyone felt on the first midwinter morning. Oh, oh nice. That belongs to all of Didn't us, I you teach know. You any manners? You're slobbered on it. What? I'm hungry. Not able to consume bread, I feel as if we're missing something. Maybe if we sniff it? It's not about the bread. No, it's about the internal combustion. Right, Cody? Bringing us closer and closer to what we're here for. Like the fire, you know the reason is not just the season. There's something much more like the Chocolate? Made it myself. Happy midwinter morning, Mr. Prescott. Oh, same to you, Danny. Yeah, it's the thought that counts. Mm. Despite expectations, the bonfire has gathered a surprisingly large number of citizens. And everyone looks pretty happy. Especially for people whose presence are on the bottom of the ocean. Boy, that must be some bread. Yeah, it is. Okay, I know this'll come as a shock, but I never liked this holiday. Oh, really? Shocking. And you've hidden it so Thank well. Thank you for cluing us in. No, 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 it's true. I have to admit, though, it was kind of fun saving it. Kids, Mrs. Niederlander has asked to speak with us. Thank you, Charlie. Because of you and your trusty robots, we have the holiday I've been longing for. People woke up this morning and held that bread in their hands and remembered why we celebrate. But now I've come to realize my days as the writer are behind me. Don't say that. Nope. It's time to pass the bread. Therefore, I would like to ask, 
Would you all consider being the new riders of Midwinter? This is Niederlander. My family and I would be honored. Hey, I can be in charge of baking the bread. 